What is enlightenment? In one sentence, enlightenment is man's emergence from his self-incurred immaturity. What is immaturity, you ask? Immaturity is the inability to use one's own understanding without the guidance of another. If someone doesn't have the courage to use his or her understanding, in that case, the immaturity is self-incurred. The motto of enlightenment is therefore, Saper Aude, have courage to use your own understanding. It fits in well with the person's laziness and cowardice to remain immature for life. If you set a book to have understanding in place of you, or a spiritual advisor to have a conscience for you, or a doctor to judge your diet and make decisions for you and so on, you wouldn't need to make any efforts at all. As a result, working your way out of immaturity becomes quite difficult. If a person were never allowed to make the attempt to use his own understanding, he would grow fond of his immaturity and become incapable of using his understanding. Even if someone managed to throw off dogmas and formulas, they would still be uncertain over easiest matters, simply because they would not be accustomed to this way of living. Thus only a few by cultivating their own minds have succeeded in freeing themselves from immaturity and in continuing boldly on their way. There's an interesting point to be made here about revolutionary people and revolutions. A revolution may well put an end to despotism and oppression, but it will never produce a true reform in ways of thinking. Instead, new prejudices, like the ones they replaced, will serve as a leash to control the great unthinking mass. But which sort of restriction prevents enlightenment and which can promote it? Kant answers, the public use of man's reason must always be free, and it alone can bring about enlightenment among men. Well, how about people like teachers and clergymen? It seems that they must behave passively so they could be employed by the government. Be that as it may, it is not permissible to argue in such cases obedience is an absolute necessity. For instance, a clergyman is bound to instruct those who come to him in accordance with the doctrines of the church he serves. After all, he was employed by it on that condition. But as a scholar, he is completely free as well as obliged to impart to the public all his well-intentioned thoughts on the mistaken aspects of those doctrines. Kant says, to maintain that the guardians of the people in spiritual matters should themselves be immature is an absurdity which amounts to making absurdities permanent. So are we living in an enlightened age? Kant's answer is no, but we do live in an age of enlightenment. As things are at present, we still have a long way to go before men as a whole can be in a position of using their own understanding confidently.